Thank you all so much for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If this is your first time here, consider joining the family by clicking that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded when I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget friendly home decor that is easy to do. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some very simple high end looking Dollar Tree DIYs using some of these items that I found in the coastal section of the Dollar Tree. So you know the Dollar Tree always switch out for different seasons and for the beach coastal theme season the Dollar Tree really stepped their game up. Ever since they became a dollar and 25 cent, I'm telling you, they have really stepped it up. Look at these beautiful picks here. I was super excited to find these, so I definitely stocked up on those. They had a lot of different beads and nautical ropes and items that you can use to create beautiful weaves. And they also put out some burlap fabric that you can use. They have nice cups and dishes for the season. Absolutely love them. I really like that these wood um, fishes over here, these are so cute. They have them in two different colors. I don't know, your Dollar Tree might have other options, but I only seen these two different colors, so I definitely picked up those. I was super excited when I walked over here and seen all of these things that I was like, what? I just could not believe they were $1.25 and this charger right here was a must have. Look how beautiful this is. I'm telling you, the Dollar Tree really stepped it up. I love these. I'm definitely going to pick up a few of these for outside. These are absolutely beautiful and I can't believe they are $1.25. I'm jumping into the first DIY using that charger. So I'm hoping you can see it a little better. I love the color and it has that distressed look. This is absolutely beautiful as is. I'm not gonna do too much to it. So I went over to my Cricut Joy to cut out a phrase. I'm definitely gonna style this in the kitchen. So I just cut out the phrase Bon Appetit and I am just going to place that right here on the charger. And I'm gonna use my Cricut tool, my little Cricut spatula just to transfer everything over. And then I am going to embellish this a little bit more with some Dollar Tree items. Now you can add a hanger to the back of this by gluing or taping some jute cord. But I'm going to be using mine as a leaner so I'm not going to be doing that. I absolutely love that the Dollar Tree has really really added new items. I'm not sure if this charger was fr from last year. Not sure. I know I didn't see it in my Dollar Trees last year but... I was happy to see it this year. So I'm taking one of those picks that I found in the coastal section as well. And I'm just gonna take my wire cutters to cut the stem down because I'm just gonna glue this right to the bottom. And then I'm gonna be using some of these little wood florals that the Dollar Tree put out. Those are not new. I did see those last season and I have a few in my stock. So what I'm doing is just finding the placement I love the way this looks like actual seaweed. It is so beautiful. I'm just going to add some glue and tack it down. Once I have that secured, I am going to take those little wood flowers and I'm going to add them um, to the little seaweed pick as well. And I'm going to just cluster them together just like this. So once I have my placement, all I'm going to do is just take some hot glue to tack everything down and make sure that it's nice and secured. I am going to be doing another video using some coastal decor uh, because I picked up a few more items and I do want to make some items for my niece and I do want to make some to style in my bathroom because I do have a coastal theme in my bathroom and it's like that <laughs> year round and so I want to make a few new items for that. So this is it for this piece and I absolutely love how it turned out. Moving along to the next DIY, I have one of these wood fishes. This is so pretty, but I am going to add a little color to this. So I'm going to be using this um, sky blue acrylic paint 
that I got from Arteza. So I'm just cutting off this little jute cord and I will replace that with something else. So here's that color and I'm, I'm going to do like a dry brush. So I'm going to add the paint to the brush and then just wipe off as much as I can. And then I'm just going to lightly brush over the entire front of this fish. As you can see, I'm going to try to stretch this paint as much as possible and then add a little more. These were definitely a good buy for a dollar and 25 cent and I did pick it up in another color and I have something planned for that one as well and that will be for my other coastal video that I'll be uploading. So I'm just going to get this paint brushed over. I didn't want to do too much coverage because I still want to see that natural wood color and that way I don't have to do any distressing with any sandpaper or anything. Once it dried, it came out really perfect. So I did use my Cricut Joy to cut out some words and I'm gonna transfer those over. And so I'm gonna transfer over good vibes always. And I'm just gonna add good to the top. And then I'll add vibes and always at the bottom. I'm just finding my placement and then I'll transfer everything over. I also want to add some of these items to my coffee bar area because for the summer, I always, first of all, I always change up my little coffee bar area to fit the season. And for the summer, I want to give it like a little beach shop look, like a little coffee shop on the beach. So I do want to add um, some items in that area. Definitely this fish that's a good vibes only because when you're drinking coffee, relaxing, nothing but good vibes no negative energy never so <laughs> i thought you know decor like this would be perfect in that area so i'm using another one of those picks but i'm not going to use all of these pieces i'm just going to cut off a few of them also so recently in my dollar tree i seen that they're adding like three dollars four dollars and five dollar items i'm always asking the clerks are they going to switch over to the five dollar items and they're they're never sure but i've noticed like in the freezer section they didn't added some food items for different prices and like a few things in the front but not much but i'm waiting to see um those items come full stocked in my dollar tree so as you can see i'm just playing around with the greenery till i'm satisfied with how they look to just gather them right by the tail and then I'm gonna take some jute cord to secure that. So I'm just gonna wrap it around a few times and then tack it down in the back with some hot glue. Once I get everything tacked down with the hot glue, I am gonna take another little piece um, just to tie a little basic bow. And I'm gonna add that bow right in the center on the top of the jute cord, right in the center of the little greenery and that will be it for this this was simple as well but i think it came out really cute Now for this next DIY, I'm gonna be using one of two of these <laughs> wood houses from the Dollar Tree. Um, for the first one, I'm gonna go over the front using that same color blue that I used in the previous DIY. I will be using two of these wood houses and these are not new um, to the Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna be using some of those new seaweed greenery picks to style with this. So I'm just going over the front. I'm not gonna paint the sides or the bottom or the back. I wanna keep that natural color just giving this a little beach house look as you can see i didn't paint any other sides and i'm also going to be using another wood piece here from the dollar tree i have a lot of these um, in my stock from when the dollar tree was still a dollar now for this house i'm going to go in with the antique wax and i'm just going to go over the front of this house as well i wanted to keep that natural color of this wood just giving it that beach look but once I finish painting over this house, I am going to take one of the sand blocks from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to go over the front of both of these houses that I painted 
just to distress it a little bit little bit and give it like that farmhouse look this diy is really simple but i like how it turned out and i am going to be styling this in the area where i have my um little coffee bar sitting area so now i'm just going to take some hot glue and hot glue the first house to this wood piece and i'm adding it to the back because i'm going to take the blue house and i'm going to hot glue that one right to the front on the other side once i get that complete i'm going to start embellishing both of these houses and that for the first one what i'm going to do is take the remaining of that pick that I used in the previous DIY. I'm going to cut the stem down and then I'm going to hot glue that right to the side. So I'm just going to take some hot glue, add it to the back to the bottom, and then place it right on the side. And then I'm going to take some jute cord and I'm just going to wrap it around um, kind of in a messy way, wrapping it around the house and going right over the greenery pick. Like I said earlier, this is really simple, but I do love that rustic farmhouse beachy look. If all of that makes sense, I probably just made that up, but we're going to go with farmhouse beachy look. Yeah, we're going to go with that. So <laughs> once I get that done, I'm going to take one of them burlap flowers that I got out the pack from the Dollar Tree and just place that right over the jute cord. Now for the second house on one of those picks, I'm gonna take one of these seahorses off of here, and then I'm just gonna place that right in the center of the house using some hot glue to tack it down. And then I am gonna add some picks off that seaweed to um, embellish it a little bit. After I added the seahorse, I forgot to add my jute cord around the top, so I'm gonna to try to slide it right under and just wrap it around a few times and then I probably have to just tuck it once I get that done a little bit more behind the seahorse. Once that is complete and I have it tacked down, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of that greenery and then I'm gonna push my jute cord down a little bit more behind my seahorse and that is going to be it for this DIY. I wanted this to be really simple and have that rustic beach look to it. This DIY is really simple. I'm taking one of those baskets here. I absolutely love that they put out these baskets. I'm gonna be using these for a lot of DIYs. And I have a pack of those burlap florals that the Dollar Tree put out. So what I'm gonna be using is these and a little bit of those greeneries off of those picks from the Dollar Tree to embellish this basket with. So what I'm going to do first is tack down a few pieces of this greenery. And I'm going to kind of stretch it around the basket, just adding glue here and there to make sure that everything is tacked down. I think this basket came out so cute and it does have that beach feel to it. And so you can add like little candies or just different greenery um, to this little basket. But I think it's going to look really cute just styled around the house. So once I get the little greenery tacked down, I'm going to start adding those florals. And I'm going to add those um, burlap florals in like a cluster form. So what I'm going to do is add my first one. And then I'm going to add the other one on the other side. But I'm going to kind of tuck it so that those two can kind of meet. If that makes sense. And then I'm going to add the other one on the other side and tuck it as well. And that is going to be it for this basket. I think it came out really cute. I put one of those little Dollar Tree decor um pieces in there but I'm not sure what I'm going to add to this basket but I absolutely love how it turned out. Okay. 
Now for my next DIY, it is so simple. I'll be using another one of those baskets from the Dollar Tree, but a darker color. And one of those wood pieces with the jute hanger that the Dollar Tree sell. I absolutely love these. I love hanging baskets. I'm always creating them. I did create one in my last video if you haven't seen that. Now there are so many ways you can attach this basket. You can use some hot glue like I originally did. And I'm going to use some tumbling blocks for the bottom. Or you can just staple this to this wood piece. I did go back afterwards and add a few staples but the glue actually held up. So as you can see, I'm attaching it with the glue. And then I take a couple of those little tumbling box from the Dollar Tree and added them to the bottom. Now, what that did was kind of boost the basket up a little bit just to make it a little bit more straighter. So once I add the little extra glue at the top, I will take two of those tumbling blocks and add some hot glue to them and just place them under the basket and as you can see it just kind of give the basket a boost this is a really simple DIY but it absolutely comes out really adorable I love hanging baskets around the home like this because it gives it such a nice high-end look and you can style so many different things in these baskets but I just put one of those pigs in there and one of those cute little burlap florals and I love how this turned out it is so adorable thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did if so please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here as always in the comment section below let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite and until next time my friends stay safe so that I can see you in the next video